some minnows. Yes, we are. What do you got to catch minnows, Matthew? We got this day. I'll hold it so we can see it, buddy. There we go. Let me zoom out off of you a little bit. All right, so he's got, turn your tag around. This is what we went and got, deluxe minnow trap. So we're gonna get this thing set up. <laughs> Matthew got him a hot dog bun, he's gonna put in there. We'll show y'all how we do this real quick and we're gonna go toss it in the creek. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Let's get uh, this thing set up. Get a zip time together at the store. So what we're going to do here, I don't know, I don't think you even need zip ties to put it together, honestly. But it looks like, just put one like that, one like that, pull it down, and then you put your little fancy uh, hook through right here to hold it together. So what we're going to do is, Matthew, you go ahead and put your bread in there, bud. Oh, hold on a second, I got cardboard in there. There we go, put your bread in, perfect. This thing back up. I thought we was going to have to zip tie it together, but I guess not. This is even better. Christmas, so this part kind of. So, is there a shampoo? What is this hole? Yeah, so. Good dog. This clip is so daggone How tight. How many minutes do you have to keep it in? I don't know, bud. Seven minutes. So, I think, I guess, does this one have watch it and see if we get a fish in? Yep. I think it's just broken. I didn't break it. It's just uh, very tight, right? Oh, you did. That don't work very well. I don't like that clip. We're going to put a zip tie on it, I guess. Because that uh, kind of defeats the whole purpose of this Wait, thing. Wait, Dad, they should just shift it down when they come back down. Yeah, we're going to take this thing off. I don't know what the reason is with that clip. But we'll put a zip tie on it. Because uh, it ain't going to do no good being wide open like that. That'll work better. I think we need one on that side. This side's good. And then we'll take, uh, we'll use this clip, but not for what it was intended for. They claim that's what it's for, to hold it together. Unless maybe I put it on wrong. I don't know. But we'll run that down through it. That way we can still tie our string, our five foot cord to it. Emma, There's Bailey. We catch some minnows. Why are you barking at me, girl? You know who I am. You one walked up on me. All right, let's get us some string out. That way we can just toss this thing in the creek. And be good to go. This one stands up all day. That That's probably more than enough. Minnows. Now our creek is not really a, it is a creek, but it's called no, Matthew. I'm talking, buddy. It's called Dry Creek. So as you can guess, it's a dry creek. It does have a little bit of water in it, but it really only fills up when we get rain. And uh, all the homes up higher on the hills or mountains, whatever you want to call them. They, uh, all the water flows down this creek, so, uh, needless to say, it's been pretty hot here for the last few days, so there's hardly any water in it, but there's a low spot in the creek right now that does still have water and a lot of minnows, but trying to catch them with this net like Matthew was doing, it does not work very well, so we're going to give this a shot. So basically what you got here, we got our bread in it, the hole for them to swim in this way, a hole to swim in this way. And evidently fish are just about like Democrats are not smart enough to figure out how to do something so they can't swim back out this little hole. So let's go throw in the water and see what it does. Ah, right, folks, we're out here at the creek. It's extremely dry, but let me see if I can show you these minnows in here. I think that was a frog. Water's pretty much stopped right there. That's all dried out now. So we got this area with water and it pretty much dries out there. I don't know if I can zoom in and you can see the minnows swimming or not. Uh, kind of that rock. They're kind of everywhere right out here. You might be able to see them in there swimming. So what we're going to do, we're just going to toss this bucket thing about right. I'm going to aim about right here because that's about one of the deepest areas. So uh, 
Oops. Let's get this, uh, I get the camera set up again for you and we'll get it tossed out here. All right, guys, we're back. Here's what we're gonna do. Can you see this, buddy? We don't really need all this string, but it's just so I don't have to get down in there in the mud. But, help me. Get enough here so we can toss it out. And it's just about perfect, really. They can swim right in it. So we'll just use this string. I think right, it's pretty right here, I guess, maybe. Whoa, was that a fall? Now, right now, guys, it is 10, 17 in the morning. So we're just going to let this sit for maybe an hour. See, they all around it already, trying to get to that braid. I know you can't see it, but I'm telling you they're there. So I'll find something to, find a rock or something to hook this to. Just so it won't fall down in the water. And uh, we'll come back and we'll pull it out in about an hour, guys. So... We'll see you in a little bit. What can you read the Alright folks, it's been about 30 minutes. Hey Daddy AJ? Oh yeah. You did? Yeah. We did! Oh, I dropped one. Give me a bucket. Give me a bucket. Hey, drop it, drop it. Try it. Open it up. Alright, let's take it to the garage. You got some nice ones in there, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Alright, yeah, guys, we're back. We just caught some fish or minnows. Ooh, out of breath because we uh we left the camera set up at the creek. We got so excited our trap had some fish in it, we ran to the garage. We left the camera and we forgot to fill our jug up with water. So uh whew, we're gonna get everything set up and we'll show you what we got. See you in just a minute. Bye. All right, folks, here's what we got. So let's get our trap opened up. We got some nice size ones in there, too. And we still got bread, so we might try it again. Yep. Let's get them all down to one side. Yeah. Cut our zip tie. What, buddy? So they can get our bread. It is soggy, nasty bread. That way we can just dump all our fish. Oh, there's one fell out up your tub, up there. Okay. Yeah, one that fell out on the workbench. Is it dead? No. Oh, there's not one in there. Come on, little fishy. Ooh, he's a jumpy one. I don't think he's very happy at the moment. There we go. <laughs> Let's like see how many out. he got. They ain't gonna get out, buddy. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in there. Oh, hold on. We got another one in here. We got one hiding, so he got nine. I gotta get the bread back to the other side because I don't wanna dump all that bread up in there. There we go. He got nine of them, guys. Pretty cool. So. If you're looking for a minnow trap, which we're not going to use these for fishing. Matthew wants to keep them as a pet, I guess. But this little deal here, these buckets or baskets, whatever, you put them together, they work good. So Matthew, come here. You got anything to say to everybody? This, uh, we're going to get a fish tank too. He's going to get a fish tank too. So there you go. If you're looking to catch minnows, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, all that fun jazz on YouTube there. Help us grow our channel, and we'll see you all in the next video.